Hello makeup lovers, how are you guys doing today? So I am super excited for this video because I'm going to be playing with a bunch of new makeup. So let's just go ahead and jump on in. The very first product that I have today is the Brow Revolution um, from Makeup Revolution and it's the shade Auburn. Just looks like this. I feel like this was a trend for a while. A lot of people were talking about this kind of brow product. It's like a brow gel, but you're like, you like fill your eyebrows in with it. So this is supposed to be waterproof, budge proof, and transfer proof. And it says perfect eyebrows in just two minutes. I already know that's a lie. There's no way I'm going to have perfect eyebrows in two minutes. Um, I could have 20 minutes and still not have perfect eyebrows. So I'm pretty nervous to try this product just because it's something different than anything else I've tried. And I bought it specifically because I wanted to do a full face of makeup revolution. And they had a few different brow products, but this was the one that intrigued me the most. Um, and the only one I could really justify buying because it's like, do I really need another powder? No. Do I need another pomade? No. But I can justify this weird brow gel thing. So I'm actually not going to use this wand. I'm going to use my eyebrow brush and I'm just going to like get product off of it or else. Yeah, that would just be a disaster. Oh, okay. That's darker than I thought it was going to be. Great. So I'm not very good at talking while I do my eyebrows, but I will say that it took about seven minutes to do my brows which is not a bad time at all, especially for the first time trying a new product. And honestly, I felt like it was pretty easy to use. And the color overall, I think this might be the closest color I've ever found to my actual hair color. Like, when, if I pull my hair up, <laughs> I look crazy. <laughs> when I pull my hair up like this, like it, my brow and my hair color looks very, very close. And that is not how it normally is for me. Normally I go a little bit more cool toned. It's a little bit lighter, but this is actually a really good shade honestly I did they're, they're a little bit strong but I feel like once I have my entire face on once I like clean up underneath a little bit it should be fine but so far I'm actually impressed but I thought I would go ahead and start off with my makeup today with the elf hydrating coconut mist it just looks like this I don't know what intrigued me to try this mist because I honestly have not been keeping up with elf's new releases at all like I don't I don't know, I just kind of lost touch with e.l.f., but I just thought I would try this and I like the idea of a coconut mist. Actually, I have a coconut mist I already really like a lot, so I don't know why I needed another one, but I'm going to try it out just to kind of pry my face today. It smells exactly like my other coconut mist, but the um, spray was really like light and refreshing, so that feels good. I'm just going to go ahead and quickly prime my eyes with the Essence I Love Color Intensifying Eyeshadow Base. Okay, so my eyelids are completely primed and now I'm going to go into today's palette, which I'm pretty excited about. A lot of you guys expressed interest in seeing this when I posted it on my Instagram. So this is the Profusion Cosmetics Pro Pigment Palette. It just looks like this. Um, I will say I'm definitely more like attracted to this half. It's got like pinks and berries and purples and then this half is a lot more on the neutral side. Um, I feel like it's really really beautiful. I swatched it and overall was impressed with the quality when swatching so I wanted to play with this today and do something like pinky purpley and Profusion actually did send me a little PR package so um, I didn't pay for this with my own money but I'm still very excited to review it and there's actually a little brush in here too which fell out and one side is like a nice fluffy crease brush. Um, it feels a little bit dense but honestly I think if you have like a stubborn shade that's hard to blend out and you just went in with this brush, no additional product and blend it, I think it'd be nice. And then the other side is just like a flat concealer type brush. So I think honestly like the whole palette is like $10 so for all the shades and a double sided brush I mean you can't beat that. Okay, so before we jump into the palette, I did want to mention really quickly that I'm going to be using a bunch of brushes from Real Techniques, and this is from their Brush Crush Volume 2 collection. They actually did, did, did send these to me through Octoli, and I was really excited because I bought a few on my own because this brush here, this Disco Wall brush, I can't with this brush. I just want to hold it into my palm and like call it my precious. Like This is everything to me. Um, so I did buy a few on my own, but then they had the Monoctoli, they showed up, and they were in bundles, and I didn't own 
all of the ones in the bundles so I just applied and I figured you know what I'm gonna play with the ones that they sent me and then the ones that I bought myself that I have extra of now I'm gonna throw into my giveaway which I'm, I'm trying to put together but I'm a mess so I wanted to mention really quickly they were sent to me through Octoli but I'm so excited because I've been loving real techniques and the packaging on these is absolutely stunning it's ridiculous I have um, the sponges here, which I cannot tell you how disappointed I am that they did not call these space balls. Like, they missed out. So I am going to start off by using just the um, eyeshadow brush. And they actually have numbers on them now instead of names, which I pre appreciate. So this is three, um, 30305. I think I'm going to start off with this shade right here called Disco. Hopefully my ring light's not messing up. Just gonna pick a little bit of that up and I'm just gonna pop that in my crease. Do like a nice pinky purpley moment. And the brush is nice and soft. Alright, so next I think I want to go ahead and take the really bright pink, um, which is called Jive. This one right here. I'm gonna bring that one a little bit lower in my crease really really pigmented bright pink okay so today I actually wanted to go ahead and go in with some tape so next I'm gonna take a morphe y19 just kind of like a like more precise fluffy brush to kind of get the product exactly where I want it and I'm gonna go into this shade right here which is called go girl and I'm gonna start off on my outer V and then that run that through my entire crease so I'm gonna go ahead and take this shade right here which is called Devoted it's like a burgundy from this palette just looking at it now I wish that there was one like more deep shade the Real Techniques 305 brush and just blend out the edges I'm gonna take the brush that came with the perfusion palette and I'm gonna dip on into this shade right here um, on the corner called nebula it's kind of like a blackish purplish shade and I'm going to put that all over the entire lid and just try going in with my finger that's a little bit better great so I'm not super impressed with that particular shade just gonna kind of blend out the edges I was planning on going with in with a liquid eyeshadow either way liquid eyeshadow that I'm going to be trying out today is actually from Flower Beauty and this is called um, the Warrior Glitter Shadow. It just looks like this. I have the shade Poison. This looks stunning, like such a pretty deep sparkly purple. As soon as I saw this on the Ulta website, I was eyeing it, so I'm very excited to try it today. I actually grabbed the Olive Green Shadow as well um, in this formula, so I'm hoping I like it. So I'm just going to go ahead and pop that on my eye. eyeshadow is so beautiful I'm just taking um, my brush and just kind of trying to softly tap it into the pink so that it looks a little bit more blended so I'm definitely having like a what should I do moment because I feel like the dark purple that I originally went in with wasn't blended enough and it was just not the like I didn't have a deep enough shade to blend into the crease to put this shadow on top so now it kind of just um, I don't know it just kind of looks not like I want it to it's just kind of just sitting there and it's not blended and it just drives me crazy so I don't know what to do I think I'm gonna take like a small crease brush and I'm gonna go into a ton of that nebula shimmer shade and I'm gonna try to blend on top sometimes like if these are anything like the Stila glitter and glows then like blending on top is a bad idea so we're just gonna have to find out oh yeah oh yeah fallout all right, so I have a lot of fallout, like a crazy amount of fallout, and I have glitter like all the way up to here, but at least it's blended. So it's definitely turned into like a really, really blown out glittery smoky eye. Um, honestly, like I have some fallout, but I think it's really not that bad considering what I just had to go in and do. I'm gonna take a little bit more of the shade Jive, the really, really bright hot pink, and I'm just gonna kind of blend over all right, so there is what we're currently working with. Not quite sure how I feel about it at the moment. 
I'm gonna go ahead and take just a bit of my cellar water and try and clean up the fallout under my eyes. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly do some mascara and throw on some lashes. All right, you guys, once again, lashes are here to save the day. So I'm gonna start off by prepping my skin really quickly, just using a little bit of the Hangover RX um, primer. You guys, I have a story. Ulta had like um, a deal, like you could get, you know, a free one of these with every purchase. And then they had a thing where like you got free shipping on every purchase and they had 10 times points and basically I got like, I have about a dozen of these little primers now. So this is the primer that I'm going to be using for the rest of my life. Hope you guys don't mind. Alright, so for foundation today I'm just going to go ahead and use the L'Oreal True Match Lumi uh, foundation. This used to be one of my favorites and this is the shade... I think it's oh is it like okay w1 to 2 um i have not used this in a hot minute i'm trying to get through my foundations that are not cruelty free um so i've been using a ton of different ones off camera just trying to get through them Ooh, decisions i'm like i could go in with this this sponge or i could go in with the disco ball i think i'm gonna go in with the disco ball what are you doing be my foundation. Is that bags underneath your eye or makeup? No. <laughs> it's bags. <laughs> okay, so I couldn't talk while I was doing my foundation. Um, but it's seriously, like, I just did my foundation in like a minute and a half, and it like, this just covers your face so quickly. Um, obviously, not the easiest brush to get into like certain little areas, like this area right here. Or, you know, like just kind of work around your eyebrows. But honestly, it's so soft and so dense. I really, really like how it blended stuff out. I like the idea of the sponge for blending foundation in. Um, but I feel like if you wanted to just use one sponge for your foundation and under your eyes, like this isn't the ideal shape to get under your eyes, if you know what I mean. So my camera's dying. I will be right back. All right, so while I was in the middle of changing my camera battery, the power literally just went out like four times, so that was fun, especially because I film in a basement and it was pitch black, I couldn't see anything, I didn't know where my phone was, so I was like, hopefully the lights turn on or I'm gonna like die trying to get out of here because it's a mess. So I'm gonna go ahead and just take my Tarte Shape Tape concealer in the shade of Fair and just cover up under my eyes, nose. I'm going to take the smaller little sponge and just kind of squeeze it and make it blend under my eyes. So I just realized my tripod was like completely not like balanced and that's why my camera felt so far away. I was like tr reaching like trying to grab it. So sorry about that. I'm going to go ahead and take my RCMA no color powder and the contour brush from Real Techniques and I'm just going to set underneath my eyes really quickly. All right, you guys, so next, I'm gonna go in with a product that I kind of went back and forth on, whether I was gonna try it or not, but I was really interested to test it out. So this is the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder in the shade Glow. Um, I was actually sent this through Influencer. Um, they send box boxes and it normally has like a few items or just like a, a specific like theme to it or something, and I got a Laura Mercier box. And unfortunately, Laura Mercier is not cruelty free. So I was like, dang, this is the best box I've ever gotten. It's not cruelty free. It really stinks. So I didn't know whether I was going to use it on camera or not or what. But I've seen quite a few big YouTubers doing sponsored videos using this recently. So I thought, you know what, maybe I'll just show it to you guys, tell you my thoughts. Because I know a lot of you are not cruelty free. So maybe you just want to see like an unbiased opinion on the product if it works for fair skin, all those kind of things, because it does look like it has, I don't know, it looks like maybe it has a little bit of pigment to it. I also was sent the, um, this highlighting cheek radiance br brush. I actually used it for highlighter the other day, and it was, it was kind of cool and unique. I guess just what you're supposed to do is just kind of pick that powder up on the brush, and then sw swipe it on, like, your cheeks to kind of get that, like, glow from within. Hmm. 
I mean, I guess I see it a little bit. It's a pretty setting powder. It's not showing up colored or anything. I mean, it looks nice on the skin, but I would not use this as a highlighter. It just looks very, very soft, like definitely a glow from within. And I think it looks nice for as a setting powder, but like I saw different um, YouTubers using it as like, as their highlighter. Um, I'm not, I'm definitely not that subtle. It's like so subtle, it's not even funny. But I do think it looks really, really pretty and soft on the skin. It's not drying. It looks very pretty. And I really like the shape of this brush. I'm hoping to see um, a dupe <laughs> come out. So if you were kind of eyeing this powder, um, I do think it looks really pretty. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> okay. I have, ooh, ooh, I forgot I wanted to do this. I grabbed a few things from Clarity Cosmetics I'm going to try out today, and this right here is their Lip Serum, and I don't know anything about it. All I know is that I saw it on their website. They were having a sale, and I was like, a Lip Serum? That sounds like what I need. I don't know if you guys can tell how chapped my lips are. Um, so it just looks like this, just a clear little tube. Kind of has like little bubbles throughout it. It looks really cute, actually. Are those bubbles real? Oh yeah, they are real. Oh, those are such cute bubbles. So I'm just going to take a little bit of that and just try it out. It feels very similar to my, um, uh, the lip oils from Ulta Beauty. I think those are like $9 each. I can't remember how much this one was, but I think it's a similar price point. So I'm just going to let that sit and, uh, hopefully make my lips feel better for when I go in with lipstick. So I am really excited about bronzer today. I picked up the Tartiste Pro Glow palette. I have the Pro Glow to go and I love it. And I've wanted the actual palette for so long. This is one of those products that I've been eyeing and wanting to buy and then they had it on sale on Sephora and I was like, well, I want it, but I'm not gonna get it because I don't need it. But then I made an Ulta order, but basically I got this palette for free. That's all I can say. I'm not sure if every single shade is gonna work for me or not, probably not but that's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and use this sculpt shade right here for bronzer today, and I'm gonna go ahead and go into the Real Techniques 300 powder brush. This feels so soft and fluffy, and it just feels really nice. Blending pretty easy. Oops, I just totally went into the highlighter. That's okay. I like a satin, blood, or satin bronzer. Look at that, I feel like it blended really easily. Obviously that's only one shade in the palette, but I did want to go ahead and just try that one out today. I think it looks fine. I don't know, I was really excited about the highlighters in this and I love the packaging and like I said, I got it for free, so I'm like, literally can't beat that. So now, doing blush, I'm very excited about this. This is the Blush Brook from Tartlet. This is not a first impression or anything. I've been using it for like two weeks now. Um, there's a lot of blushes to test out here and I wanna do a full review for you guys because um, I think it's really good. Oh, I almost dropped it. Oh, my heart just sunk. My heart literally just dropped to my stomach. <laughs> I bought this because of the packaging alone, but I actually really like the bronzer. I like the highlighter. I like the blushes, so I'm living my best life. Um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and actually use this really pinky one today just to go with the look. It is called Secret Crush. I also love the size of these pans because they're super small and I don't need a lot of blush. This is the 307 brush from Real Techniques. I got this one myself. Um, it's just a little blush brush and I like the shape of it so I'm just gonna use that for blush. I saw Wayne Goss did a video on like, you shouldn't smile when you're applying blush because um, when you smile, your the apples of your cheeks are higher and then when your face is down, it's not quite the same. So you should do it when you're not smiling, but I just can't help it. I'm like, that's how I grew up, like learning how to do makeup. I was like, smile. I remember I used to always do my friend's makeup and I would make them smile when I put their blush on and they thought it was so funny. Um, I would be like, I'm not doing your blush unless you smile. 
So this is the Laura Geller Life Glows On Illuminator Palette. It just looks like this. Here's the packaging. Again, I wanted this for a hot minute. It was on sale. I got it free because I used my Ulta points. Um, it was an all around amazing deal. So this is what the palette looks like. It has, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's extremely holographic. It goes from pink to green and it has like blue in it and it goes yellow and it's just, it is absolutely stunning. Probably one of the most holographic um, palettes I've ever seen. Like the colors in it are really, really intense. And then you open it up and you have these three highlighters here. There is Opal Crush, French Fizz, and Diamond Dust. I've always wanted to try Laura Geller's highlighter formula, but I feel like they're normally like a little bit too dark for me. I'm just gonna swatch these real quick to see. Okay, so that one's like a light purple. Middle one is like a bronzy gold, and then the lightest one is Diamond Dust, which is like a lighter pinky. Oh, Diamond Dust has like a green background. I don't know if that's gonna work for me. I feel like I should di try Diamond Dust because it's more pinky, and that kind of goes with the look today. I actually have a brush to go in with as well. This is the 304 from Real Techniques, just a fan brush. And I'm just gonna pick up just a little bit of diamond dust. I'm really not normally a fan of fan brushes. <laughs> so. Yeah, that gives a very, very subtle highlight. I feel so spoiled with my Morphe M501 because that honestly is the best highlighting brush ever if you like a really, really intense highlighter. But I'm gonna keep playing with this and I'm very excited to have it. I've, like I said, always wanted to try Laura Geller. All right, what else to do on my face? Actually, I have one more brush I haven't used that I personally bought and this is the 303. Um, I don't know what this is supposed to be for. Maybe contour, maybe foundation. I don't know what this what this particular brush is. I'll probably use it next time I do my makeup. So I was just doing my lower lash line and it stopped recording. I don't think I got any of it. I took the shade Jive, this pink right here, and I took that along my entire lower lash line. And then I took the shade Go Girl and just did that on like the outer part. And now I'm gonna go ahead and, hmm. I think I'm gonna take the shade Pop, like this pinky shade right here, and pick a little bit of that up and just kind of run that right here. Actually, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and take Pop and I'm gonna use that as my inner corner highlighter. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of the shade, I think I'll take this one right here called Precious, this like lighter whitey shade that has a little bit of a pink undertone and I'm just gonna dab that on top to just lighten it just a little, little bit. And then I'm gonna take a touch of this shade right here called Atomic. It just looks more like a true white. And I'm gonna pick up just a little bit of that. And I'm going to highlight underneath my brow bone. So my overall thoughts on this palette, I do like how the look turned out. I think that the matte shades were really nice. Um, and I think that the shimmer shades might be a little bit hit and miss. I definitely have to keep playing with it to give you like a final like review or anything like that. But honestly, for $10, like, I feel like you could get some really, really bomb looks out of this. And I never want to be one of those people who says, like, oh, yeah, this is good for the price. Um, I want to say, like, whether I genuinely like it or not, no matter what the price is. Um, and I do think, like, the quality is, I'd say, like, 75%. I think maybe you'll have to work just a touch more, but you could definitely get it to work. All right, so I'm gonna quickly just add the um, deep purple liner from RNC in and go in with my mascara. You guys, so now I'm gonna go in with a product that I'm a little bit, just a little bit nervous about. So this is from Clarity Cosmetics, and I really wanted to try this, and like I said, they had a little sale, so I went ahead and bought quite a few of their things just to give it a test. Um, and this is the Skin Glow Setting Spray, and I have the shade Untamed, and it looks it looks pretty right now, but if you give it a little shake, you guys can probably see, hopefully you can see how pretty it is. It like, has like these gold reflex in it, and when you shake it, it's just, it's so satisfying to watch. Like, this is the snow globe of makeup lovers. Like, I could just sit here and do this all day. Um, so it says spray, 
slay repeat shake to activate sparkle um so this is supposed to be a setting spray and it's supposed to add like i guess like a sheen to your face but hopefully not like glitter so we'll see if I like it or not. They said you can build it up and use it as like a body spray. Not that I ever have to use that anything as a body spray. <laughs> but I'm just, I'm going to try it today. And we will see if it works out or not. Um, like I said, I'm a little nervous. I don't want to ruin the whole makeup look. <laughs> okay, so the spray is a little bit aggressive. It does have a nice scent to it. It also... I, I don't know what I was expecting. You're probably like, you literally bought a, a glowy skin spray, but there's definitely like little shimmers throughout it. So, I don't know if I would set my face with this ever again. It's not emphasizing my texture, but I have sparkle all over my entire face. So. I guess I'll just keep using it as a snow globe. I'll just put it here because it's pretty and call it a day. So the very last thing to use, another thing I'm a little bit nervous about. So I wanted to try one of Clarity Cosmetics liquid lipsticks. They actually have a sale by like that they're all 50% off right now. So, um, oh gosh, I forgot what the color was. Oh gosh, I already, okay. Let, let me just explain myself. <laughs> I wanted to try one of their liquid lipsticks. They have a lot of shades. It's all online So sometimes shades don't end up being exactly what you thought they were and they had one called Ugg Boots And it looked interesting and I thought of the shade of Ugg Boots. Um, but then I got it in person and I Don't know. It's like a Very yellow orangey Ugg Boot. I was expecting more of like a light brown Ugg Boot so you're probably thinking like that does not go with your eyes at all. It probably doesn't. It probably does not, but I really wanna try this formula out and if I absolutely hate the color with the eyes, I can just take it off and we'll try something else together. Um, either way, I really wanna try the formula because if I, you know, if I need to go online and buy more, better do that quick before the sale ends. I think it ends in like a few hours, so. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just pat my lips dry because I do have some of the serum on and the serum does feel really, really nice. Oh yeah, that's like a straight up mustard yellow. So the color overall, it's not good with this look. I am gonna take it off and try something else on, but I will give it to them. I think this is probably the most unique liquid lipstick shade or just lipstick shade in general I've ever tried. And I actually don't hate it. Like I'm imagining like if I had like a really nice brown eye or something like like a more neutral eye with this lip, I kind of like it. It's it's definitely really, really different. I've never seen a liquid lipstick like this ever. So maybe I will do a full look very soon specifically so that I can wear this lipstick with it. The formula feels nice. It's not sticky. It feels really comfortable. It does not feel drying on the lips. It's not really sinking into any lines. It feels really comfortable. No transfer at all. So formula feels good. I like the way it applied. It was super opaque. This is just one coat. So I do like the formula of the liquid lipstick and I am tempted to get a few more shades. I feel like I like this a lot, so let me wipe it off. So what I'm actually going to go do is add a little bit more lip serum, just because that dried my lips out a little bit. Just taking it off is not the funnest thing ever. The lip serum feels so good. I will definitely be using a ton of this. And then I'm going to go ahead and take the uh, Color Cosmetics lipstick, and this is the shade Peach Cobbler. It's just a really pretty nude. I'm just going to apply that on top of the um, lip serum because this is a little bit more on the matte side. So I think together it's going to make it a nice satin. Alright guys, so this is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed getting ready with me. I really like how it turned out. I feel like this is super pretty. Um, it's different than anything I've done recently. I think that my favorite products that I've tried today, um, for surprisingly the liquid lipstick i really like the formula and i like the shade and i'm excited to use that more and probably pick up some more of those i really liked the warrior glitter shadow from flower beauty definitely gonna 
um, play with this more, try out the olive, let you guys know. And I enjoyed that they released a line with a few pops of color because um, a lot of the more like drugstore liquid eyeshadows are basically all neutrals. So I was so like, I immediately gravitated towards this shadow and it is really, really beautiful. Although it does have a little bit of fallout if you blend on top, but that's kind of to be expected. Oh, I really liked the brow product. Honestly, so surprised here. Let me try. Did it come off? No, I don't see anything on my finger. So the I think the brow product was probably the most surprising product of all. I was actually really happy with that. I'm really happy with my brushes. I'm so, so excited about these. I think that they are just absolutely beautiful. They are, I feel like... I expected the actual brushes like this one's heavy but these actual brushes I wish that this thing was a little the ferrule is that what it's called the handle the ferrule whatever this is of the brush I wish that was a little heavier I think that would make a big difference in how nice it feels but I do think overall it's just a stunning design and I feel like it's really comfortable to hold as well so I'm happy with the brushes overall pretty happy with the look so i hope you guys enjoyed if you did don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you in the next one bye